Hi guys, this is iin 64 fanboy here, and if uh, you guys don't mind the tryhard name, I'm going to show you how to download Zombies Mod Pack. So, this is for Mac, by the way. It should say that in the title. So, first, what you're going to want to do is download Minecraft. I'm starting fresh, so you guys have like kind of like a basis, like if you have no mods. And if this would click and download, there we go. So, okay, so once you get that, you're going to go into here. Drag this onto your desktop. You're gonna need that. And now we don't need Firefox. So I'm just gonna start this up so I can re-download the bin folder. And as that's downloading, I will show you what you need or uh, what's inside the Zombies Mod Pack. So inside the Zombies Mod Pack is four files. Don't mind the DS. Um, the classes, what you need. Config is what you need too. You don't need source or readme. Uh, you know, readme is just instructions, pretty much, I guess. And source, you don't even mess with. So, inside classes is all the classes you inject to the jar file. And config is all the stuff you inject into the mods file. Which I'll show you how to do. So, start up a new finder window. Click on your name, your username. Go to library, application support, Minecraft. Once you're in Minecraft, this should be the basics. You know, just all that stuff in here. First thing you're going to want to do is go to bin. Extract this so you can actually go into your jar folder. Move that to trash. And just rename this minecraft.jar. Add it. So now you have all the class files inside a folder that you can actually uh, get into. And it, you know, it's the jar file. So now go back to your mod pack and click in classes now copy all eleven classes and paste them and you're gonna want to apply it to all replace them now, now that classes is done you're gonna wanna go into config and copy all of this Oops. and now go back to your minecraft folder not in bin but in the folder and add a folder called mods and inside that folder, you're going to add another folder called Zombie. And inside the Zombie folder, you're going to add another folder. No, I'm just kidding. You're going to add all of your config. Now go into config.txt. And I'm guessing you guys are looking for the fly mod, so I'll show you how to do the fly mod. They're all the same. So fly mod's about halfway down. And where it says mod fly enable, you're going to want to get rid of the numerical sign thing. And... To change the keys, you, they have to be one space away from the equals, and they have to be in uh, all caps. So I'm going to make my toggle Q. I'm going to fly up with space. I'm going to fly down with left shift. And to make me go faster, I'm going to make it uh, right shift. S H I F T. And this is all your speed. So if I want to just... 1.0 is regular speed, so if I want to go a little faster, just add 1.5. And with right shift, this is or, uh, your speed modifier. This is how fast you're going to go. So I'm going to put 3. And this is always fun, just to change what it says. I'm going to be like Super Saiyan. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but whatever. So save that. Exit out of that. And here comes the hard part of the tutorial, which... This all should be relatively easy. So what you're going to want to do is go into Macintosh HD, System, Library, and scroll down until you see uh, Frameworks. Inside Frameworks, there's going to be a bunch of framework files, but what we're relatively looking for, or what we're, relatively whatever, what we're looking for is this one right here, Java VM Frameworks. Go into that. You're going to find resources, and inside resources, you're going to find Mac OS. There's going to be two Java application stubs. You're going to want this one without the GC. Copy it. Now, go to your desktop. We're done with all that. Go to show package contents, and inside the contents, this is where you're going to paste it. You're going to go into Mac OS, and see how there's another one here? You're going to, you're going to want to paste it. Paste it, paste it, paste it. And you're not done yet. Go to info.plist. 
and inside info.plist is a bunch of words. <laughs> but you're going to scroll down until you see this right here. 1.5, change that to 1.6. And save that. Now, that I don't know how, but that prevents the black screen of death. So, go back into your Minecraft and run it. Uh, whatever. <sighs> Single player, new world. And so I set it to Q to go. Space is up, left is left shift is down, right shift is go faster. Q to be Super Saiyan, yeah, fly. Left shift is go down, right shift is go super fast. This is a regular flying speed, this is right shift. That's 3.0. So we got going on over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, and be careful when you uh, stop flying, you still take damage as if you're actually hitting something. I think. No, I guess not. In multiplayer, it does that. Yes, you can use this in multiplayer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, fly around and just have some fun. If you're playing on multiplayer, you know what's fun? Just uh, getting a full inventory of feathers. And just dropping feathers on people. <laughs> it's really fun. Just uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.